Good morning, Glenn here, Swamp Picker, with today's garage sale finds for Friday and Saturday. Let's start out with Friday sales and all that. Found this. Found this for a couple bucks, you know, at the first stop Friday. I think I paid two bucks for it. No, that were three bucks. I'm not sure exactly, but I already got it listed already. Listed it last night. Another item is this game here. I know what. I actually got it kind of throwing, get them to throw it in on another game. You know that. When I scanned it with my phone, it was getting like almost 70 bucks. But whenever you look on the computer, you know, totally different. But like I said, all the pieces are there. I mean, it's like a, over 200 pieces. So that's the plus sign about that. But the good part about that item is when I basically got it for free, but I got them to throw it in when I bought this from them. A Zebra printer. SP45, which is the same thing we use here at work. Got two of them. We use it for UPS. So, you know, I, I did plug it in. It works. It shot out some test papers. I just need to retrofit it to the um, USPS so I can print my UPS, you know, not UPS labels, but post office labels on it and all that. So, and it actually came with four rolls of paper. And all that. So, let's start with Saturday finds. No, that this was the first item I found, not, not found, but this is my last item. I found this at a garage sale in uh, Capitol Heights. Only bought one item there. You know, and the good thing is I went there early in the morning, about 6:30. I actually forgot my wallet at home when I had to go get it, which was a blessing because this is the only thing I bought there at the wholesale. Out of like 15 sales, they didn't really have much stuff. I went back home. We had a neighborhood garage sale where I lived at, and I actually did pretty good. Okay. One of the items I bought was this twister, sealed and all that. I didn't have time to really, I kind of did a quick stand on them, you know, they were doing okay. But like I said, you know, like I said, I'll do all my research tonight on these items, but it is sealed on that item. In the same place where I bought this game, they had this game and all that. And got it for two bucks. And this thing's pretty heavy, you know, and all that, but sealed and all that also. Garage sale. The sealed Lego. Like I said, I didn't pay that for it. And all that. So it's all pretty sealed and all that. Got that. And this item here also right here. Same garage sale. Got both of them for eight dollars. And all that. And actually, at that same garage sale, they had this on there. It was a Zippo lighter, which I never. I don't know how these things work. I know like doing firewood. Or like barbecues and all that, but they had 50 cents on it, and they threw it in for free with that stuff. And it actually comes with the butane and all that, so I might have to sell it without the butane because I don't want to, you know, blow a plane up and all that. Another garage sale, the same garage neighborhood garage sale. Got these two ink cartridges. This is one, no box, but sealed and all that. Both of them for a buck. And when I bought that Lego and all that, I got it. In, had three dollars each, so I got them to throw them, got them for a dollar each. And it's got like it's a laser sight and all that sealed with bullets. So two bucks for those items there. And another garage sale. I got these. I saw these before. Actually, I put one on auction, you know that. But these were sealed. And all that got both of these for five bucks. Hopefully they do okay. And all that. I want to see whether I sell them separate or get them in a kit. And all that. And I found these security lights, and they come with remote controls and all that. So I'm not sure if I may be using them here or not. And all that. I might, or if I can use it at my apartment or something like that. But they were only a dollar each. They had two more of them, but you know they've been. You know, I don't think they've never been used. But one of them was missing the remote, and another one, the remote was out of the package. But both of these, everything's sealed in this. So I went with that. Another cool item. Lady said, I meant her dad was a medic, or not medic, but work, you know, was in a, not Vietnam, but Korean. But if you can see that, surgical instruments for minor surgery. And this thing's never been used. So she said Vietnam War and all that, but there are, like she said, the, um, we're doing um, stitches and all that, the little, the little like needles and all that. For, and all that, and it has this on it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of more research, make sure it's from the Vietnam, um, Korean era, 
and all that. That's pretty cool there, you know, got the US, you know, medical insignia on it. But it's pretty cool. But same garage sale. I'll be there. This and all that. It's for like um in the field when you're looking at maps and all that. It's like kind of like um, binoculars slash microscope and all that, but that's you know from that era. And hopefully, I'll do good on this. You know, actually, I paid 10 bucks on it and all that, but it had like a whole price tag of 139 dollars. And I had paid for it before you saw the tag and all that. And the same place where I got the um, Steinfeld tapes, I bought a whole bunch. A box of stamps, and if you remember, Lonnie bought a whole bunch of stamps. It was like kind of a, I don't remember if it was a nightmare or not, but I paid like around 40 bucks, 35 bucks for a box of them. And actually, some of them had like stamps in it that had never been used. Not many, but a few. You know, and it did come with books on stamps, you know, like this, you know, how to, you know, do that. And guides on the value and all that, which this is a plus. I don't have to do as much research on the internet, hopefully, and all that. But it's gonna be like a this is gonna be a, like a long process, you know, and all that. Like these bird stamps, which is pretty cool. It actually got stamps in it and all that. And some places are blank, you know, like got the you know the blanks where a stamp would go. All right, so like this right here, this page, is this like a black and white picture? But a lot of these. You look behind these, they got the little, the same thing, black and white pictures behind it, but just, I got books and books of, of these stamps like this, which is pretty cool. And all that. And another item I got was these. You know, if you don't know what this is, this holds either like coins, you know, in the paper, a um, little um, two by two envelope, cardboard envelopes, or it holds slides. And I, I got five of these for 10 bucks, plus all kind of photograph books and all that. Uh, a lot of these were like these flowers and insects and all that. And everything's numbered, but it holds 150 of them each. You know, without the slides, I can sell these boxes for $20 each. But all that. But that's going to be a, a little fun deal project there and all that. So hopefully I can just group them up together and all that. Maybe sell the boxes separate, you know, and like I said, sell the slides separate, you know. And all that. I'll probably do that because, like I said, I can make 50, you know, 100 bucks just on the um, metal metal deal so when you see those stamps this is like those books here so you know I got four of these books here you know what but I don't want to show her address and all that and what else that's about it so thank you and if you see something in there that you know you know about or leave a comment don't forget tonight to watch MSP products Dwayne Hale is hosting jewelry from Canada, so it's gonna be our first international auction. So, watch tonight, seven o'clock central. Sunday, seven o'clock is the six pack show. So, thank you for watching.